Welcome back to the GetNet program. We're kicking off this month the theme called the cycle of fear, where all of us struggle with fear in some point of our lives. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about it, what we are focusing on today. We find our verse for today in 1 Samuel 17 verse 37. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of of the bear will rescue me from the hand of the Philippian. Fear comes around when, when you feel uncertain, when you feel um, like you are not prepared. Fear comes when, when you feel helpless. There are so many areas or reasons why we fall into the cycle of fear. Today we're focusing on, on the idea that fear starts when a lie hits you. You know, with the story of um, King David um, as he was facing Goliath. But what was so amazing for me when I, it's when, when everybody doubted and everybody was afraid of, of this giant in front of him, in front of them. But when David approached them, he asked them, "Why is nobody attacking?" Why is the uncircumcised winning? Um, and he wanted to know why is people not trusting God? Why are they so far away? And when he approached um, Goliath, the people in King Saul wanted him to put on all the gear. And he said, no, I cannot. I'm not used to this. I, I want to, I know that the God that who rescued me from the poor, from the bear, and from the mouth from the lion is the same God that will save me from from Goliath. Fear comes in when when a lie is told to you, when a lie is told to you that you're not good enough, that you are not as strong enough, you are not a giant, you are not as brave as um, the others, you you are not as smart as somebody else, you are not as uh, great and you the lie that kicks in makes us confused it makes us doubt ourselves and this makes us fear we fear what is in front of us but David is teaching us that you don't allow fear to come in because you need to know who God is for you to remember what he has already done for you and rely on that God. David said that I will, I know the God that who saved me will save me again. He didn't want to be caught into the cycle of fear that everybody else around him is stuck with. He wanted, he, he just knew that the God that he serves is the one who will save him. You see, if we have this mindset that Whenever we face a situation, whenever we are in a situation and it feels like it's not going as planned or it's going as what we want, then we can say, we have to say that the God that came through to, uh, for me once will definitely come through for me again. Because as soon as lies, a lie comes in, it disrupts us, it di disrupts our faith. Satan is using, is to catch us in the cycle, to, to fear, to fear the unknown. But we got the strength through Jesus Christ that we are ambassadors, that we are God's children, that he even calls us a friend. So why do we fear the unknown? If we are in relationship with the one who knows, with the one that is greater, like David said when he walked up to Goliath and he said to him, that you come to me with the spear and with all the weapons that you need, I come with you. I come to you in the name of the Father, the, the Savior, the God of Israel. I'm coming to you with him. And this is the mindset with it we need to fight battles, not in our own strength. Because every time that we want to 
uh, when we fall back onto our own strengths, this is what makes us fear. This is what makes us fall into the cycle of, of fearing the unknown. But actually, if we know the one that is greater, the one that's in control, we cannot fear. So let's put our trust in him and do not give fear even a hint. Don't believe the lies the enemy tells you because he just wants to derail you from your faith because he knows that when we have faith, then God will be glorified. Then he, he is defeated again. So why, won't we, why do we want to give Satan a chance if we are on the team of the one that is the great I am, the one who knows it all? So let us put the faith, our faith, into the one that knows it all, the one that everybody fears, that even Satan fears, instead, so that we glorify him, so that the world can see that, that whatever we conquer, it's not out of our own strength, but through his strength, not because of who I am, because it's all about him. It's all about what he can do and not about my strength or how good I am, but because of who he is to me.